Let me ask you this, when was the last time you slurped up a noodle dish and it changed your life? Hmm? Whether you say yes or no, this could be that moment for you. talking about slurping noodles, right? But you know what else is good to slurp? A hot, perfect cup of coffee. Or cold, I prefer iced. And that's where today's sponsor, Trade Coffee, comes in. If you don't know, Trade matches you with your own personalized selection of the perfect coffee bean. All you gotta do is take a simple quiz, choose your delivery, rate each of the matches that they develop for you, and they will deliver the perfect personalized coffee every single time. What's not to like about that? But I'm not gonna stop there. For those of you watching this video, because and so does Trade Coffee. Anyone that clicks the link below and signs up will get their first bag of coffee for free. Free shipping is included. With their first match guarantee, if you don't like the very first bag that they send you, they will ship you and do one for free, buddy. All right, there ain't nothing to lose here. Again, don't forget to click my link to take the quiz and get your first bag today. Okay, so today we are making yaki udon. If you've never had it before, it's... It's familiar in a way. Most people have had some form of a noodle that is like yaki udon. It is one of my favorite noodle dishes of all time. And if you've never had it before, now is the time. It takes 15 minutes to make. I'm sick and tired of people being like, oh, I'll just go and get it or order it to go or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Enough is enough. Just go get a wok, keep it in your pantry, and then when you want to make this noodle dish, put it together in little to no time. Little to no time! I refuse to believe that there are many restaurants that you're going out to that are making them traditionally or properly or just taking the time to put love into it. And you're accepting a subpar quality product. It's not right. You get where I'm going with this. So with all that said, let's make this, shall we? As previously explained, welcome to the easiest noodle dish of your life. Class is in session. First thing we need to get together is Papa's proprietary yaki udon noodle sauce. Really simple. In a small bowl, combine two tablespoons or 35 grams of palm sugar. Microplaning is great. <laughs> No pun intended. But it'd be a whole lot faster if you just chop it real fine. It's okay if it doesn't all dissolve. It's gonna dissolve when you put it in the final dish. Then add two tablespoons or 29 grams of dark soy sauce. Optionally, two tablespoons or 29 grams of shiradashi. Link in the description for that. One tablespoon or 12 grams of rice vinegar. One tablespoon or 14 grams of mirin. Two tablespoons or 28 grams of oyster sauce. And as usual, give that a nice little whiskey business for your little baby. Before we even start, let's talk noodles. Can you make your own udon noodles? Yes, of course. And I will say that I've found that fresh udon noodles at most Asian grocery stores are oftentimes better than what you could make at home. That is if you don't want to take the time. In this case, local Asian grocery store, fresh noodles specifically are Papa approved. Anyway, get a pot of lightly salted water, boiling, pop in one pound of fresh udon noodles, let those cook for about 30 seconds, then immediately drain, and run under cold water until completely cool. Give them a light toss, and just a couple teaspoons of sesame oil to keep them from sticking, and place your thick noodles to the side. Now for the veg, you're gonna need about one cup of baby trumpet mushrooms. Slice those guys into quarter inch thick slices, lengthwise. Then get yourself about one cup of rough chopped cabbage, snag a sweet onion, cut off the bottom and the top, cut it in half, then remove the peel and do some thick juliennes for just half of the onion. All of these were about half an inch thick, like so. You can save the other half for stock or throw it at whoever doesn't season their tomatoes. Next, you'll need three green onions, cut off the hairy bottoms, sounds gross, then cut into one inch segments. All right, it's walk time. What do we do literally every time before we use our walk, folks? Wrong, wrong, or maybe right. I don't actually know what you said. We need to do a quick season on it. Pour in just enough oil to get a thin layer on the bottom. Heat that over high heat, swirling the pan constantly. And once it starts to smoke, cut off the heat, discard the hot oil and wipe it out with a paper towel. Now look at that. That looks like a god dang marble. And it should look like that every time. Now heat that over medium high with just a touch of oil until it's hot, hot. If you touch that, your soul will leave your body. Then add half a pound or 225 grams of ground pork. Press it so you get some nice surface area contact and let that sear until you get some decent browning, about two minutes. Flip and sear for another minute, then begin chopping and stir frying until a good amount of its fat has rendered and it's getting nice little quiffy bits all up in there. About another two minutes. Remove that and place to the side. Now add three tablespoons or 42 grams of duck fat. Continue heating over medium high. By the way, you can use vegetable oil, that's fine. Then once it's extremely hot, add your onion and mushroom. Stir fry that for about two minutes or till softened and you get some lovely color on those. You want dark browns, okay? Then add your cabbage and green onion. Stir fry for one more minute till it begins to wilt and get a little color. But let me make a quick point here. I still want some crunch, all right? I don't want mushy ass cabbage. Now add your meat back along with the noodles. Season lightly with a pinch of ground white pepper, salt, and a small pinch of 
Stir fry that bad boy for about two minutes. Really get in there. You want that classic, good old fashioned wok hay. Then add your yaki udon sauce and stir fry for another minute. Really get that action. All right, don't you be scared, brother. Or hop that flame is there to help you. That's your friend. Also be careful. Thank you. Once that's done, cut off the heat. Add three cloves of finely chopped garlic. Gently toss together to not break up the noodles and serve immediately. Plop it into a bowl. Optionally, you can hit that bad boy with bonito flakes, sesame seeds, and some thinly sliced green onion. Now she's already looking lovely, but if you want to be extra naughty, you can always add some spicy chili crisp or your favorite chili oil, but enough tantalizing your thoughts. Let's taste test this bad boy and see if this 15 minute stir fry tastes like a multi-course menu seated atop the most beautiful snow-capped mountain in the most beautiful region of Japan. Wow, it's time to eat. First off, oh, wait, what's that sound? Alexa, stop. All right, we're starting over. First off, Alexa was running. Shut. And Kendrick didn't let me say the ABCs in totality. Listen. It's okay, you don't have to talk about it. So moving this into a separate bowl because I want everyone to be able to have a little taste. And I'm sure they don't want papa slobber all over it. So noodles, meat, vegetables, sauce. It's a classy combo, almost like a chow mein, but with the udon noodles, sort of similar. Bro, this should not be this good. The noodles, the umami, the depth of flavor. I mean, this is everything that you want in a bowl of noodles. And you can put this together in what, 15 minutes? I'm sick and tired of people constantly complaining, oh, I don't wanna have to do this component and then put it in this pot and have Okay, you know what? First off, go take a nap. Better yet, you know what, no, go take a lap. It's a bar right there. Come back and make these noodles and then you can stop complaining and be happy for once. I've just received word that Vikram and Kendrick are noodle guys. They would like to have this be in their mouth now. Come have. Oh my gosh. We're you here. did the sound effect again. Oh, that's what you're- Just eat the goddamn noodles! I can't believe you're eating it with a fork. Mmm. Mmm. I swallowed that whole. That's better than the chow mein. I usually am kind of iffy on cabbage, but for whatever reason, that Napa cabbage got like good flavor. For how fast you were able to put this together, this was amazing. You only Wait, no, I wanted some. You wanna know what else has Papa's hot noodles ready to be forklifted into your home on the daily B roll? Guys, and that is it. Before I even get started, let me just say a massive thank you to our partners at Trade Coffee for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link below to get your very first bag of coffee for free and enjoy your perfectly matched cup of joe or glass or however you drink it, it doesn't matter. It's coffee. So we made our yaki udon and it came out just so luscious and beautiful. The glimmering noodles just glistening with flavor. You know that glisten is, is due to flavor. Look, I mean, at the end of the day, of course, people like going out and getting a quick and easy meal, you know, something like a chow mein dish or any sort of like stir fried noodle dish. I can't keep letting people do that without them understanding that it can be made just as good, but more often than not much better for little to no time. And it's not that expensive, it's really not. Just take the freaking time. One of the greatest noodle dishes of all time and it's about time that you know and now you do. So take all that to heart. Give the noodles a little kiss, give Papa give you a little kiss. So with all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time, okay? And you better have made that noodle dish because I swear. Not one kiss is ever gonna happen. Not one.